Welcome to Someka. In this video, we will going to create Germany heat map with our ready to use template. I want to show you some of the additional features of this heat map. Let me show you what I mean, but before that, if you need some assistance from the page, you can follow our instructions by clicking turn on here or use without instructions if you are comfortable. Let's talk about sections. As you can see here, the first section is heat map. After receiving your information from data section on the right, you can visually display your data here. Second part consists of with your data. We have placed the population data of the Germany and the abbreviations of the states just as an example. You can copy or paste your data here or input manually. Additionally, you can type your title here. Lastly, in the settings section, it's all about your heat map appearance. Let's dive into each of them. We have defined five color densities to here. These colors indicate your value limitations. For example, red one in here indicates higher value of data and the red one in here indicates lower value of data. It's very easy. But if you want to set different color on the heat map, select one of the cell, go to home tab and it select from this box. And this table for your value limits. The state's color density will be painted according to these limitations. In color and legend settings bars, you can change the color of backgrounds and the state borders. Also, if you do not obtain any data for states or when the data is not the range of the limitations, you can paint them gray for example. And lastly, about legend display, you can show or hide the legend information on the heat map. It's your choice. You can change them in this drop down. Lastly, in the text settings part, it's all about showing the names of the states on the heat map or not. So, when you click no text, you won't see anything on the heat map. You will just see the colors. And when you select display names, you will see the state names of the Germany. And when you click display text, you will see your text part on the heat map. Also, you can change this part with your values. For example, we use abbreviations of the states and if I choose display text, I will show the abbreviations of the German states. Now, let's just go a little practice here by doing together. I will go on my own Excel sheet that I have been working on. These are the Germany GRB data of the 2017 and I want to use them for my heat map. Actually, I found this data online and I sorted them alphabetically. Let me take this data and paste here as a value prevent any confusion about data. After putting data, I should define my value limits. But before that, I'm just gonna go my own shit again. And I calculated my minimum and maximum values to easily define my limitation. So, I will copy off them again, paste here as a value, like this. After that, I will come in here and customize a little bit. Let's select red one from this box and display abbreviations and black state borders and paint it. Here, the last view of the heat map. As you see, the new heat map is colored according to my current values and the borders are black as I do. In addition to these, you have a button here that says export as a PDF and when I click on that, it takes me to the page where I can print the final view of the heat map for my reports or slides. As you can see. Lastly, you can make some customization on the heat map also. All the state shapes are editable, but before, I should go to the view section 
select unprotect sheet you will be warned like this write here your password you will receive password via email after download process now i can move aside resize the shape and color it blue for example and you can just copy this shape to your powerpoint slides it's very useful and this ready to use template will help you to show your data or statistic with an effective way thanks for watching and do not forget to check our other templates from someka website thank you